Welcome back to our channel Bible Stories. If you've ever been curious about the origins of the Indian people according to the Bible, I present to you another intriguing question. Have you ever wondered about the mysterious origins of the Gypsy people? They have a fascinating and curious history. Let's explore their intriguing past together, delving into the Bible, genetics, and the history of different peoples and ethnicities. In this episode of our series, we will investigate the origin of Indians and Gypsies, shedding light on their captivating history. If you're already familiar with our series, please show your support by leaving a like. For those who are new, stick around until the end. If this video resonates with you, leave a like and subscribe to ensure you don't miss our future videos. Now, let's dive into another episode of our series, The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible. According to the ancient Indian sacred texts, known as the Vedic texts or Vedas, there are mentions of a people called Desa, whom the Indus civilization faced and fought against. These Desa people were described as having dark skin. The native peoples of India also have darker skin tones, providing evidence of their origins as descendants of the sons of Noah, particularly from Ham's lineage. The inhabitants of southern India, considered descendants of Ham, represent the origin of the Indians. In other words, Indians originally come from the Haddock lineage, evident in their skin tone. However, there has also been significant intermixing with a light-skinned ethnic group called the Aryans. This Aryan tribe, likely composed of fair-skinned white-eyed people, originated around 3,700 years ago. The Japti tribe, to which the Aryans belong, also gave rise to other peoples. The native people of India have black skin tone, which in itself shows the origin of the descendants of Noah's children, where they came from. The part of Khan in the Kamites, the people living in South India, who are native to India, that is, originally, the people of India are of the descent of the Kamites, that is, originally, the Indians are of the descent of the Hamites. In other words, they wear t-shirts because of their skin tone. However, there is a strong mixture of an ethnic group of light-skinned people who called themselves Aryans. Without a doubt, a tribe was already formed, already made up of white people with light eyes, that in 1,700 years before Christ, that is 3,700 years ago, this tribe was already formed, which also gave rise to other peoples because of the mixing that occurred between them, divided India due to the mixture of miscegenation in the ethnic sense divided India by placing North India of people with lighter skin, lighter skin tone, and South India of people who are darker. In other words, Northern India was a region of people due to the strong mixture of people with lighter skin and lighter eyes, with blue eyes or even greener eyes, because this already formed tribe mixed with the Indian people, which resulted in a strong miscegenation of the people who were already there, for example, in this image, which is a black woman with blue eyes, which demonstrates this mixture, that is, this miscegenation that occurred in India. In 1700 BC, in 500 BC, light-skinned invaders, Aryans, dominated India. In other words, Indians are a mixture, the countryside and the faith. And it is important to highlight here that Togama, father of Asians, also had a small influence on some Indian peoples. This Asian portion of Togama could have come even before the Ariana already made in 1700 BC, because many Indians with black skin already had straighter hair, which demonstrates this origin. In other words, Indians are originally descendants of Ham because their skin tone was originally a black skin tone. So, they are originally from the descendants of the sons of Noah, from the T-shirts, from the sons of the descendants of Ham, and also due to the strong miscegenation with the Aryan people with light skin and light eyes ending up forming in India, being the, the northern part of brown, white and yellow people, and the southern part of people with darker skin tones, black cinnamon. If you're interested, 
I will provide a link in the description to a video about the origin of the white peoples of Europe who come from the Japi lineage. Due to the intermingling between the Adik and Aryan peoples, an ethnic division occurred in India. The north of the country became inhabited by people with lighter skin and blue or green eyes, while the south was predominantly inhabited by people with darker skin. This significant intermixing of peoples was the result of their interaction. For example, in the image provided, we can see a black woman with blue eyes, demonstrating the mixing and intermingling that took place in India around 1700 BC. In 500 BC, light-skinned Aryan invaders dominated India, resulting in a combination of Hdik and Japti heritage among the Indian population. It's also important to highlight the influence of Tama, considered the father of the Asians, who had a small influence on some Indian groups. This Asian influence from Tama could have occurred before the intermixing between the Aryans and Japes around 1700 BC, as many black-skinned Indians already had straighter hair, indicating this origin. In summary, Indians are originally descendants of Ham, evident in their naturally black skin tone, their lineage can be traced back to the sons of Noah, specifically the Hamites. Additionally, the strong intermixing with the light-skinned Aryan peoples contributed to the formation of India, with the northern region inhabited by a population with brown, white and yellow skin tones, while the southern region consists of people with darker skin tones, reflecting their Hdik heritage. Now let's shift our focus to the origin of a people who share great genetic similarity with Indians, the Gypsy people. This mysterious group of of people has settled in various countries across Europe, Brazil, Turkey, Egypt and others. Despite being a nomadic community, the origin of the Gypsy people has been a great enigma for many centuries. Only a few knew where they truly originated from. The Roma language, Romani, is an unwritten language without a formal writing system. Furthermore, many gypsy customs involve forgetting the past and even burning historical records, making the discovery of their origin even more challenging. Over the centuries, there have been many speculations about the origin of the gypsies. Did they come from Egypt, Persia, Morocco, Romania, Albania, or even the Ottoman Empire? Many theories and assumptions were raised about the region where these people originated, but everything was very controversial. However, from the 18th century onwards, Europeans began to more systematically study Roma languages, including Romani. They determined that the language spoken by European gypsies belonged to the Aryan branch and the Indo-European languages branch. These discoveries helped to shed light on the origin of the Roma people. In other words, linguistic researchers determined that the Romani language belongs to the Indo-European languages, which include regions such as Persia and especially India. This means that the primary origin of Roma people is in North India, where the Indian language and its variants are spoken. Over time, other languages mixed with Romani due to the nomadic nature of the Roma people, who migrated from country to country and state to state. This migration led to interactions with other peoples, such as the Persians and even the Arabs who also have the habit of frequently moving from one region to another. Thus, the gypsies ended up incorporating influences from these peoples into their culture. For example, there are gypsies in Turkey, Egypt and other nearby regions where there has been some mixing with Persians and Arabs. However, this mixing was minimal and not predominant. The gypsy origin remains North Indian, which means that they are actually an Indian people who mixed with Persians and Arabs before settling in Europe, including the Iberian Peninsula and other European regions before arriving in Brazil, where there are many gypsies. There are three major groups or branches among the gypsies, the Ram, the Kalin, and the Sindhi. The first document mentioning gypsies was recorded in 1426, although there are earlier mentions in ancient Persian texts. However, Certainty about the origin of the gypsies was only obtained through genetic tests carried out in 2012 and published in a scientific journal. 
In these tests, the DNA of 152 individuals from 13 different groups of gypsies was analyzed, and the conclusions confirmed what the linguistic analyses already indicated. All the results pointed to India as the starting point and origin of the gypsies. According to genetic tests, Roma traced their origin directly to northern India, more specifically to the Punjab region close to Pakistan. Now why did they leave North India and disperse to various parts of the world? They are believed to have fled northern India due to the invasion of the lands where they live by the armies of Sultan Mahmud Ghazni. In the United States, there are several gypsy or Roma communities scattered across the country. These communities are made up of different Roma groups and clans, each with their own specific traditions, languages and backgrounds. The Roma, also known as the Romani, are one of the most prominent Roma groups in the United States. They originate from North India and have migrated to different parts of the world over the centuries. The Roma community in the United States preserves its culture, traditions, and Romani language. In Brazil, one of the countries with the largest gypsy community, for example, the first gypsies to arrive were the Kalin, about 574 people coming from Portugal and Spain. Then came the Roma from Turkey and Greece, and later the Sindhi from Germany after World War II. Therefore, the biblical origin of the gypsies dates back to the descent of Japheth, since they came directly from northern India, where there are lighter skin tones. However, they also have their Hdik ancestry, which explains why many gypsies have a brownish skin tone, whether it be light or darker. This indicates their Hdik origin, making them descendants of both Japheth and Ham. This is the biblical origin of both Indian and Gypsy peoples according to the Bible. I hope you all enjoyed and followed until the end. I ask you to leave your like and comment if you have a Gypsy or Indian origin, specifying which Gypsy branch you belong to whether from the Ram or any other branch. Thank you all for watching this far, and until the next video in our series on the origin of peoples according to the Bible from Genesis 10. As we draw the curtains on this fascinating exploration into the origins of Indians and Gypsies, we extend a heartfelt invitation to join our growing community. Your engagement means the world to us. Subscribe to stay connected, steal a moment to catch our live sessions, comment your thoughts, and don't forget to share this enriching content with your brothers and family. Let's build a community where knowledge, curiosity, and diverse perspectives converge. Together, we'll continue to unearth the stories that bind us all. Subscribe now, stay engaged, and be a part of this incredible journey. Also, leave your suggestion for the next videos. See you soon.